Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's B.O.B. Bobby Ray. Bands. And right now you're watching Hip Hop Wired. Stay tuned. My upcoming album, Underground Luxury, I feel is a, a pivotal album for me because it's really kind of introducing a side and reintroducing a side that a lot of, you know, newcomers probably didn't see. You know, if you weren't following me before my first album, you know, I think this is like a, uh, you know, kind of like a rebirth, you know, and, and really just a, a filterless album, really. There's a song on the album called One Day, which is um, actually a, a single that's going to come out later this year. I mean, really, I've never like told a story, you know, had a song that was dedicated just to that, you know, story of, of how I came up and just, you know, really pulling people into that world to where you feel like you're there with me. That kind of speaks the to the core of what Underground Luxury is all about. Yeah, man, like, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, that I showed love to the people who helped me create the record. You know, um, when I actually recorded it, I was in L.A., you know, Mustard came through with his hard drive, you know, played me some beats. Um, Mr. Fab came through, helped me out with the hook, and, um, and Ty Dolla Sign is actually the one singing, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, they, they, had to, they had to be a part of the video when it felt right. And um, the girls, you know, it was based off the synchronized swimming, but... You know, we had them in the, uh, in the hood, synchronized dancing. <laughs> you know, it was crazy because I wanted to do something to where it showed my appreciation for, for females, but in a way that was artistic to where you can't, like, you can't knock it. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, really, nothing has really changed, you know, since Tip left Atlantic. Nothing is, you know, we still the same. You know, that's pretty much all that matters. You know, nothing, nothing outside of us will change how we function and how we make music. And we actually working on the Hustle Gang album now. And it's moving pretty fast, man. Like, we make good music. And when you have, like, a lot of different artists, you know, from, you know, me, Tip, Spotty, Trey the Truth, and, and everybody else, man, like, it, it doesn't take as long to make music. Because, like, if I'm making a song, I got to write all three verses on it. So, you know, with this, it's like everybody getting them done at the same time. So things kind of happen a little bit faster. And, and uh, we already off to a good start. Atlanta has got a lot of artists, you know, bubbling. And, and it's always something coming out of Atlanta. You know, it's a lot of hungry cats down there. And, like, the younger, the younger cats are, like, really being very proactive with their sound you know like they they making their own beats and rap, you know doing everything in their own studio you know and and really kind of steering the direction and and they probably don't even know it know how to the fullest extent how far it's reaching because i remember when i was in um i was in australia earlier this year and i was hearing like a lot of the music they were playing in atlanta and like you know usually in australia the music you know it, it gets there it takes a, a while for it to get there to the same impact that it is in the States. So, you know, I was in a, uh, it was like a strip club in Australia and it was playing. Like, I'm like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing, man. It's a culture that permeates through space and time. So, you know, um, I think Atlanta's gonna continue to grow and be, and be a mecca for music and, and continue to, and I think we've only seen the beginning. You know what I mean? I think it's finna, it's finna be some whole, a whole nother side that's finna emerge from it.